Hi there, this is the Spitting Image Trap and it's in the Russian Petrov Damiano variation. After e4 and e5, knight f3, hitting the pawn on e4 and knight f6, the Russian Petrov. Symmetrical system here. After knight takes on e5, rather than drive the knight back with d6, knight takes e4 is a line I personally particularly like. After the natural queen e2, which is hitting the knight on e4 with considerable pressure on the e-file, the knight on e4 doesn't drop back. Rather, black follows suit with the symmetrical queen e7. After queen takes on e4, d6 now is going to recover the piece because the knight now on e5 is pinned. And white will play the natural d4 to at least be a pawn up out of this opening variation. After d takes on e5 and white does best to capture with the pawn, not with the queen, d takes on e5, knight c6 immediately puts pressure on this extra pawn on e5 and black wants to get it back next move. Well, it can be defended in a number of ways and all of them, all these defences of the pawn on e5 have their drawbacks. Bishop b5 to pin the knight is playable, as is bishop f4, but they all run into trouble in their own ways, which we can look at in uh, other videos. But here we're looking at this line, f4, to defend the pawn. This is... Uh, apparently a decent move. However, it does allow now the black bishop to deploy itself on g4 because the pawn on f4 is cutting off the queen's attack of the g4 square. So bishop g4 with a simple idea for black of long castling and then rook d1 is going to be catastrophic for white. So white wants to get a quick castle in. First of all, bishop b5 and then aiming to castle next move. But after now, black castles long with that said threat, rook d1. If white now castles, then it's curtains for white. Black is winning after queen c5, check. And that's picking up the bishop on b5 with a one position for black. So this has been the spitting image trap in the Russian Petrov Damiano variation. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.